Revelation 27. When the thousand years are over, Satan will be released from his prison. When it comes to football, real football, not Aussie rules, but the world game, or wog ball, Australia really hasn't been kicking too many goals, either literally or figuratively. But why? Former Australian captain and world game presenter for ethnic broadcaster SBS has a theory. In his autobiography, former captain of Australia Johnny Warren tells an interesting story. The Australian team was in Mozambique for an elimination round for the 1970 World Cup. They were playing Rhodesia and had lost the first two games. Things were looking grim for Johnny and the boys when a local journalist gave the Australians a tip. Using witch doctors or nyungas was common practice in Mozambique. So why not hire one to curse the Rhodesian team? With nothing to lose, Australia did just that. And Younger went to the stadium, buried some bones, and in the next game, Australia made a miraculous recovery, winning 3-1. But alas, this is not the end of the story. The Nyunga wanted to be paid, and when Johnny and the Australians refused, the Nyunga said he was going to curse the Australian team. From that moment that he put the curse on, everything went wrong for the team. We took 38 hours to get to Tel Aviv. That's the witch doctor. We played 21 hours later without three of our best players who all were suddenly sick. That's the witch doctor. We lost the game uh, to an own goal, a deflected goal. It's the curse. We had a disallowed penalty, blatant penalty we weren't given. But it's not just... On, it's off the field as well. The go, way the game has self-destructed, has shot itself in the foot so many times, has been its own worst enemy. And you always think, ah, oh, the witch doctor, this is the curse still working. When Australia played Iran, the MCG, that night, which Australians will not forget, that was Australia's game. They didn't, we didn't win it. For some reason, we didn't win it. That's the witch doctor. So every time you see those things, you think, ah, it's the, it's the curse is still there. Well, there's no point in dwelling on the past. We've got to put that all behind us, and I think I'm going to try and make it right. We hope you can. So I was off to Mozambique, where the curse had been placed over 30 years ago. I was very excited to touch down in Mozambique, not only because I can now try to help out the Australian team, but also because it was the perfect opportunity to do a slow motion montage of me playing soccer with small black children. Fuck, I'd look good. And everyone watching the show would really like me. We <laughs> only cut out that bit. Damien, the editor, we cannot have a bit like that in the show where I smash this small child in the head with a soccer ball. It'd make me look very bad. Anyway, I seem to have got distracted. Back to the mission at hand, removing the curse. I met up with Danilo, who said he could find me some youngers or witch doctors. Hello, you're John. He hooked me up with Paulino and Miriam, who'd been youngers for most of their lives. When you do your younger ceremonies, who are you invoking? Is it like spirits? Is it ancestors? Is it God? <laughs> How does it work that your younger powers can overrule the other younger's powers? And I believe we're going to be sacrificing a chicken. Do we, can I eat the chicken afterwards? Can I eat? Can I cook and eat the chicken afterwards? Yeah, Oh, cool, excellent. Hey, Danello, where, where, where are we going? To fight a chicken. Paulino and Miriam said for the curse breaking to work, we had to go back to the place of the original curse. OK, we're off to the soccer stadium where back in 1969 Australia played the infamous game against Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe. The stadium's over there. We found a plaque outside the stadium. It says Australia played Rhodesia in the World Cup qualifier in 1969 for the 1970 World Cup. I hear this is where they also they filmed Will Smith's Film yes, yeah. Ali, about yeah. Muhammad Ali. Yeah, we shot Ali here. The Nyungas said I had to be the intermediary for Australian soccer. Right? Yeah. They're not expecting me to cut the chickens, are they? They cut no, the no, chickens, no. cool. Probably not. Okay. 
Paulino had to channel the spirit of the long dead Nyunga, who had placed the curse. He was now no longer Paulino, but the Nyunga from 30 years ago. My body had to be swept for any bad spirits. I had to spit on a knife, then place a coin on his head. The reason for this is so obvious, I won't bore you by explaining. Oh, <laughs> like this. <laughs> the spirit appears, so he wants to talk to you. Uh, he says, he's saying hello for everybody. Hello. He's asking how are you? I'm good. Yeah, put the wheels and other stuff down. Next was compensating the younger to make up for Johnny Warren and the boys ripping him off. I've brought you this stuff here because in 1969 the Australian soccer team did a bad thing. They got a Nyunga to, uh, to help them out and then they left the country without paying the Nyunga. I hope this makes up for it. He says that, yeah. He says, okay, but he, he must give you a, a wash. Go, we go, 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 go. Okay. Don't look back, just go straight. If you look back, the spirit will always chasing you. Relax, man. Relax. Relax, man. Watch your face. I gotta wash my face. Yeah, yeah put it down. Put yeah the hands on it. Yeah, put yeah. No. Cool. Yeah, when you, you wash yeah outside. Cool man. Yeah, it's 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 cool man. Yeah, shake. Yeah, no, do that stuff. Yep. One. One. Like the second it, time. I, yeah, one time. Okay. Oh. Right. Go, man. Yeah. Right. The work now is finished. You give you medicine. You put in the water in Australia, Australia Federation Football Association, and you wash. So it's back to Australia for the final part of the curse breaking. This guy was taken off injured after about 39 minutes, so, and he he dropped. He virtually threw two in. That's the witch doctor. Did you, did you, so what's the process? So the process is, first we have to wipe down our arms, our legs and our face. Then we put the powder in, and then we wipe ourselves down with that again. Hey, there you go. Mm, tastes all right too. We shall see. When's the, when's the next game where we can test whether this is all work? I hope it works. Yeah. Well, the, uh, the long trip to Mozambique. Work. I mean, the real crunch is when the World Cup's on, isn't it, you know? And do you reckon this curse breaking's going to work? Yes, it will. Yeah, I believe in it. Well, we, we wish Australia best. Did you know, shortly after filming this story, Australia lost to Turkey 3-1. <laughs>